Hey guys, Jack One One Star here. Welcome back to another reaction. Uh, welcome to day nine of Twelve Days of Reactions, and tonight we'll be reacting to Donuts by Jay Dilla. Now, this was unfortunately Jay Dilla's last album before he died, just only three days after his thirty-second birthday. But the craziest thing about this is that he composed this album on his deathbed. That is insane. He wanted to get one thing done before he died, and he did it. <laughs> So yeah, this was the last album to be released during his lifetime, and this is a purely instrumental album, so there's not going to be very much lyrics. Also, fun fact, I uh, just I just about an hour ago got done with the uh, 36 Chambers recording, and I listened to the Method Man instrumental about like five times now, because it was that good. I wish I had a more crazy reaction to that, but I just drank the Diet Pepsi. Maybe Diet Pepsi would have helped me. Have a more crazy reaction to it. Because that beat was good. It was good, okay? Anyways, let's get started with this album. Because I want to get done with it. Let's start with track number one. Donut outro. We're starting with an outro. Also, let's strap in for this. Because this is 31 tracks long. That was a great start. I think I'm just going to let this one transition to itself. Because I think it's right. Anyways, we'll to track number two. Working on it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh. What is going on? It's also the longest song on the album. God, it sounds like having a stroke. Oh my god. It sounds like I'm having a stroke. What the heck is that? I am not mentally prepared for this. Oh my god. It's pretty hard though. Oh my god. Let's see if I can just remember to track numbers. I have 31 to go through. Alright, I'm not sure what to think of this so far. Once again, it sounds like I'm having a stroke, but it's kind of hard at times. I don't know still what to think about it. Anyways, track number three, Waves. So crazy to that he composed this while he was dying. Decent. All right, track number four, light it. Am I ever gonna create time stands for this one? Maybe not. Mm. Ah oh, man, that's it. That's pretty good for only 32 seconds. Alright, track number five, the new. Ooh. Alright. It's pretty dang good. Still wish it should have been longer. But hey. Alright, track number six. Stop! I'm sorry if that stop was kind of rude. Whoa, 
I thought I disconnected again for a second. Ooh. Yeah, pretty good. All right, track number seven, People. Oh my god. God, the amount of samples into this thing is insane. Oh, that was about transition. Well, why'd you keep going faster? That was pretty good. Track number eight, The Difference. Ooh. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Is that the same sample JPEG Mafia used in Where Where'd You Get Your Coke From? All right. That was pretty nice. All right. Track number ten. Mash. Did I say track number 10? This is track number 9. Oh my god. What the heck? Alright, track number 10. Time, Donut of the Heart. Mm. That's good. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Track number 11, Glazed. Oh. What is this? Oh my god. Yeah, I like this. That trumpet sample's driving me crazy, though. God, the samples. Oh. Oh, there's that again. All right, track number 12, Airworks. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. 
That stupid sample. All right, track number 13, Lightworks. This is Bendix. Be tomorrow, people. What? Okay. Whoa. Oh my god, those drums are going crazy. Oh my god. This sounds like I'm having a stroke once again, but in a good way. Oh my gosh. Alright, track number 14, Stepson of the cl Clapper. God. Keep repeating. Oh my God. Alrighty, track number 15, The Twister. Huh? What? Oh my God. Would you join me, please, in welcoming the Tipsy? What? What? In, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Where's MC Ride? <laughs> I love the genius description. The I love the genius description for this. Hold on. Why the song pause? Hold on. The instrument begins with a warm, pretty sample. See you wonders for once in my life, live, and then sharply descends into madness. Sharply is an understatement. All right, track number 16, 111. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, it's named that because it's the song called 111 because the song clocks in at one minute, 11 seconds. What do you know? Very nice. Oh my god. All right, track number 17, Two Can Win. Ooh. I like this. It's pretty nice. So there's not much to say about these songs. I'm just kind of listening and basking it in. Just enjoying it. All right, track number 18, Don't Cry. Okay. Well, someone's already crying in the background, so. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's sad. In 2012 XXL interview, Questlove, a, a close friend collaborator of Dilla's, said don't cry was a message to his mother and he was recording this on his deathbed so he's basically telling him basically telling her don't cry don't mourn his death my god it's sad but also really sweet ah oh, such a good sampling though That's good.
Track number 19, Anti-American Graffiti. Okay. Oh. All right, track number twenty, Geek Down. Oh my God. That crackling. Whoa. What's going on here? Pretty decent. All right, track number 21, Thunder. the piano all right track number 22 gobstopper what is with that freaking siren noise that's pretty nice what's that little like little Tires squeaking in the background? I don't know what you call it. All right, track number 23, one for ghosts. There's that siren. Oh. Oh, the title one for ghost is directed at Ghostface Kill Wu-Tang Clan. What do you know? Track number 24, Dilla says go. Oh my god. Okay. This is pretty decent. If you're wondering what I've been looking at since your instrumentals, the genius still says a lot of stuff about him. All right, track number 25, walking on it. What is this, like the sequel to working on it? Track number 26, The Factory. Whoa. Okay. Freaking siren. Oh my god. Sounds like Pikmin 2 music. Not really much to say about this one. Oh, it's crazy. Track number 27, You Love. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's a tribute to those he loved, apparently. This is so good. The fact that he produced apparently 29 out of the 31 tracks on his deathbed still is incredible to say the least. Alright, track number 28. Hi. Standing at the bus stop. 
come and heard a voice behind me say, Whoa. Hi, baby. I turned around. That's nice. He's doing something really weird with the. Apparently, he's putting six eight time signatures in the four four, which is interesting. Anyways, track number twenty nine. Bye. Direct contrast. To, my oh my god. Another message he's getting across. He's leaving. Jeez, that crackling. This is sad. Hope that crackling's not for my speaker. No, that's just part of the song, luckily. I always get scared of that happening. I like this. Even though it's just a beat album, apparently, there's a lot of subliminal messages that he's gonna pass away, which is sad. Oh man. All right, 30th and second to last track, Last Stone of the Night. Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's what I think it is. Is this his final thing he produced? Okay, looks like this isn't the last thing he, he produced, which would have been cool. It's called Last Donut of the Night. Nice though. Mm. This album is making me sad now. It, it just is. Considering the whole thing with Jay Dilla dying while making this and just the combination of this little messaging, it's just really sad now that I'm thinking about it more. All right, we have finally reached the 31st and final track. Welcome to the show. It's also apparently called Donuts Intro, which would line up with the Donuts Outro thing. Oh man, looks like looks like the song starts with a loop of of a 1970 song called When I Die. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, man. This album is just making me sad now. Rest in peace, J. Dilla. Rest in peace, dude. Oh man, okay. That was 31 tracks and somehow took up 45 minutes of my time? My gosh. That's not a complaint. The album was good, but my god. First of all, yeah, really good instrumentals, although it's they were fine, I guess. I mean, this album isn't, like, amazing to me so far. I mean, a bunch of good outros. Hey, I mean, that's pretty nice. I will give this album for now a 7 out of 10. My favorite track will probably be Time to Don't of the Heart. That's all I can really remember from this. But yeah, rest in peace to Jay Dilla. And anyways... I'm Jack One One Star. Thank you for joining me tonight on 12 Days of Reactions Day 9. I'm Jack One One Star, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.